vlog. Welcome back to my channel. Today's day two of moving. Well, basically just day one of unpacking everything. Had the first night here last night. We moved yesterday, everything, and that's in a whole different vlog, so if you wanna see that, go watch that vlog. Anyways. Okay, the guy's here right now setting up my internet. Um, so I'm gonna do a lot of montages while he's here. I'm gonna like go through my dishes and clean them all and have them dry before I put them away and do all that kitchen stuff. Probably get a lot of the kitchen sorted right now. So I'll definitely montage all of that. Is it The guy just stepped out. So, these plates are so cute. They're from Walmart. From the Time and Table brand. I'm obsessed. Small plates, big plates, and then bowls. So I'm just putting these in the sink so that I can wash them. Sounds like some broken pieces in here. I'm gonna be so sad. Um, yep. Are you kidding me? I think we only lost one, but still, what? <laughs> what? done with the Wi-Fi but I just washed a whole bunch of stuff and put them in here to dry um, I don't use dishwashers I just use them as drying racks because I like hand washing my dishes but I washed all my dishes my Tupperware this big glass bowl that I got from Ikea all my silverware cooking utensils and that's basically all that fit so once this is all dry I'm gonna wash some of the rest of the stuff such as this little bread pan from Ikea this silver organizer from Target and then these Tupperware bowls from Ross or Home Goods. Then I also got these glasses that I need to wash. They're just a six pack of little cups from Ikea and they were like six dollars, so score. All right, Wi-Fi is all connected. Um, I just connected to the Wi-Fi and he put me on the spot and I didn't have time to think of a cheesy Wi-Fi name. So I hope I can go and change that later, but if not, whatever, it's fine. But I'm finally here. It's really surreal. Um, Keiko doesn't live here, but he did stay the night last night. That might be sort of confusing to some of you. He's my boyfriend. It's just me living here, but he's just stayed the night. He left for a couple hours to go go get his car like oil changed or whatever so I was just doing dishes and all that fun stuff I was gonna show you a huge haul of all the little things that I've collected and like bought for this place um as like a sit down video but that kind of like didn't you know work out in my favor because I like there was just no time to sit down and do it so I'm just gonna walk around and kind of show you all the things that I bought and where I got it from I hope this is more of like a better personal way to do it like vlog style you know so I hope I don't forget anything but we're gonna go just walk around and <laughs> see what I bought for this place and I'm gonna show you where I got it and all that so I think we can start let's start here shall we I got this circle mirror it's a 30 by 30 inch and it's it has no um, rim right here, but on this side it has a little thin black rim, so basically it looks like this. So it's only on half of it, which I think is pretty cool. Got it from Home Goods. It was $50. I thought that was a, a reasonable price for one of these circle mirrors because they're usually so expensive. So that's that. I also have a coffee table right here and a chair, but I'll show you once it's all set up. It's not yet, obviously. This lamp I also got from Home Depot. I thought it was really cute. I really like the style of these like tripod lamps. I think that's what they're called. Or I'm just brainwashed because I'm a YouTuber. But I think it's cute. It's black hardware all that. I also got these two fake plants from Ross. I thought they were cute and also a really good price for fake plants. This one's 25, this one was 35, I think. No, 30. This one's just a little, okay, I'm gonna get this wrong. Banana leaf, maybe? This one's a um, Monstera? 
<laughs> I'm so bad. I don't know. They're really cute. They're pretty good size. This one's a little smaller than this one, this one, which is why this one's more expensive. Thought they were good to have and just decorate with. Also went to Ikea and picked up these two giant frames. These are 24 by 36 inch frames. I'm either going to put them above my bed or above the couch when that arrives, but that's obviously not here yet. So yeah. <laughs> In here, he had to move the bed because he had to install something over here i don't know oh my gosh it's so bright in here let's see did i buy anything in here oh obviously this lamp i showed you in yesterday's vlog from target i had to get it really last minute last night because there was no light in here so <laughs> yeah i'm gonna wash all these sheets and everything let's see in my bathroom i don't have anything set up in here yet um that's not gonna stay there i don't know where that thing's gonna go but it's gonna move bathroom i already showed you basically what's in here this shower curtain ooh ugly lighting the shower curtains from target i love it so much i showed it in yesterday's vlog this shower caddy it's just black matte is also that one is from home goods like i showed in yesterday's these are from home goods as well now these are from ross just kidding um, i think that's all that's new in there a few more packs of hangers from target because these are like two dollars and these are the types of hangers that i use and oh i have a whole bag of ikea stuff right here i'll show you that in a second <laughs> move on to the kitchen we had an extra one so they just gave it to me it's a little crock pot so cute it looks so tiny and i'm excited there is a toaster in here that i bought from amazon it's literally the amazon on basics two slice toaster very basic this is a blender that i bought or no i didn't buy it that sent to me a long time ago and i never opened it because i never needed it because i always had a blender at home already so i'm excited to get some use out of this finally okay so much stuff this cute utensil holder i got from home goods i think it's so cute this paper towel holder that's literally too small my paper towels are way too thick for this but that is from home goods i got this little strainer I don't know what that is. This strainer is from Home Goods. It was $5.99. These little measuring spoons I got from Target. These are like my first apartment purchases. <laughs> um, because they're so cute. They're the hearth and hand little measuring spoons with the little leather strap. Adorable. Got this piece of bakeware set from Ross, $11.99. And then I got two different sizes of cutting boards. These are the Martha Stewart cutting boards, I think. Kind of bougie. Yeah. I have this 15 by 11 inch one and then an 18 by 12.6 inch. Pretty good prices. I think they're cute, obviously. Essential. I already showed you where all that was from. Okay, now the stuff in here, I'm just going to show you really quickly. I got this huge Tupperware set from Ross for very cheap. Got these bowls like I showed you from Walmart. I bought them online because they were sold out in stores and online. And then I checked one day and they were in stock. And I was like, okay, I need to get them. So I got them. It's just plates and bowls, which I think are really cute. Although one of them broke. This giant glass bowl I think will be cool for like, I don't know, chips or a huge salad. Um, when I have people over. This was from Ikea. It was like $2. So awesome. This two set of knife from Home Goods. So cheap. And they're such good quality and they come with the little um, covers. So that was nice. And then I have all these utensils from either Home Goods or Ross. I don't remember. But it was also a really cheap set. And it's just everything I need basically. So that's nice. Moving on over here. I bought this Swiffer Wet Jet from Home Depot. Because I need to Swiffer the floors like once I get a bunch of stuff off the floors. Because it's pretty dirty in here still. And I haven't cleaned anything yet. But essential i guess <laughs> i got this mini trash can for my bathroom um this is from home goods it was 12.99 it's just a little mac black trash can i got this little table fan from target yesterday um from a curbside pickup order because i i just had to have a fan in here i don't know i realize i have one up there i don't know i just feel weird not having a fan is that just me? Huge thing of paper towels from Target. And let me show you what's in these bags. Okay, the whole moving series in general is just literally me sitting on random parts of the floor because I have nowhere to sit yet. Went to Target. Also, when I got those um, measuring spoons, picked up this little basket. I think it's cute. I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet, but it was on sale. And I was like, I can find a use for that for sure. From Home Goods, I picked up this little tray for my bathroom because it's like a black and white theme, pretty much. Just his things. So obviously, I'm gonna put like toothbrush, toothpaste, razor, I don't know, in here. I really don't know. But I thought this was cute for my bathroom. And then this is a huge Home Goods bag. Can't guarantee that everything's from Home Goods in here. Home Goods and Ross. I got a bunch of stuff from both places. I got these white hand towels from Ross. They were on clearance for $2.99 each. Just white hand towels. Oh, I just realized they're different styles. Whatever. <laughs> Two hand towels for the bathroom and the kitchen. Bath towels. They're just white. Really basic 
for your visitors or whatever. They're $6.99 each. I didn't know towels were that expensive, to be honest. But I like the print of these. They're just like little designs. I don't know, I think they're cute. I got three of them. No, just two. Two white towels. I need to throw all this in the wash. And then I have a little home goods bag. But yeah, I got these little oven mitts. They were $4.99 and they're just like really cute sage green and white oven mitts. Basic, but I need them, so. Also from Target yesterday, I placed a huge pickup order of like cleaning stuff and everything so that I could pick it up like either before we moved in or sometime yesterday. So we went at like 9.45 yesterday and it closed at 10, so I'm just a little tight. But plunger, necessity, obviously. Some toilet paper, also necessity. And then I have a bunch of stuff up there. Let me show you all the cleaning stuff that I bought. Oh, I also got this little salt and pepper shaker from Ross, $2.99. They're just really basic salt and pepper. Nothing interesting. I got some dryer sheets from Target, some quart size um, Ziploc bags. I also got this can opener from Ikea when I went. So random. I'm sorry this is so out of order, but it was cheap and I needed a can opener. <laughs> and I got some foil from Target. I got some Tide laundry detergent. I got some seventh generation disinfecting multi-surface cleaner um, because I really needed some multi-surface cleaner to clean all the counters and all that. I got some cleaner and bleach from Clorox. Some glass cleaner. This is my favorite glass cleaner ever. I used to use this when I worked at like Lings and Things in Jamba Juice. This is the best stuff ever. Also over here, I got this seventh generation powered by plants clementine zest and lemongrass dish soap. I got this little um, sponge holder. I don't want to show you, but it's from Target along with the sponge. Very interesting. I know. Now let's make our way into my closet again to see the Ikea stuff that I got. I picked up two two packs of these little coasters. They're just little bamboo coasters. I thought they were cute to put on the dining table whenever I get one or the coffee table. And then I also picked up four of these placemats. They're just like woven placemats. I think they were like $5 each. So very cute. I'm excited for these for when I get a dining table, you know, whenever that is. I also got a toilet brush cleaner. This was literally a dollar at Ikea, so hopefully that works, you know. I picked up one of these power cords because this was a really good price also. Basic power cord, and it comes with two. For It was like $3, something crazy like that. But I was very excited about that. <laughs> and then I picked up two pillows that I'm going to put on the couch whenever that comes. They're just the inner, so this is the 20 by 20 inch. I picked up two of these. And then for the covers, I saw these and I thought they were so cute. They're the 20 by 20 cover and it's like a little, I don't know, off-white and cream. Really soft, fluffy little pillowcase. So two of those for the couch whenever that, you know happens it's still just so crazy to me that this is my place now I'm like this is home this is where i'm gonna go every night this is where i'm gonna spend all my mornings and nights and days it's just i don't know it's a lot to take in because i'm by myself now and it hasn't really hit me yet honestly because i've had keikoa here with me for the move-in process and also last night but he's not spending the night tonight so it's probably gonna hit me tonight but yeah i think it's just I don't know. Just a lot of newness, you know? It's going to take some getting used to, but it's still really exciting because I have so much to look forward to and there's just so much that's going to happen while I'm living here and it's, I don't know, it's the start of a good, good time in my life and I'm thanking God for all of it because obviously couldn't have done it without him and you guys, but mainly, you know, he is above all else and he is the reason why I have this place. So thanking him forever. I'm just very tired already. And this bed is so comfortable. I'm also really hungry, but I literally have no food, no groceries. I need to go grocery shopping today, probably when he gets back because the Wi-Fi took a lot faster than I thought it was going to. So that's nice. Oh, I forgot to show you dining room chairs. Um, I found them on Facebook Marketplace, literally $10 each. And I know they look a little dirty, but these are removable covers, so I'm gonna remove these, throw them away, and then I bought some white replacement covers on Amazon. Really excited about that. This is a little small dining room, but it's gonna have to work. It'll work. I just need to figure out what size table I need because it needs to fit all these chairs. Okay, so we were out pretty much all day and I forgot to bring my camera, but we went to a bunch of different stores. All we really, we went to Ikea. I got a few small things that I'll show you later when I find where they are. And then we went to Costco, got a TV, which is nice, but I'll show you that later too. And then we went to Trader Joe's and finally got food, a bunch of food. So gonna show you everything, pretty much everything. Grainless 
coconut tortilla chips, my favorite pita bite crackers, strawberries, blueberries. Keiko wants to make um, spinach chicken tortellini tonight, so we got some vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. Sounds good. Also, my favorite hummus. A big jar. I got some hearty minestrone soup. This is also really good. And then for tonight, we're using the spinach tortellini. And then I also got the butternut squash ravioli because that's like my favorite. Two lemons. I got some mandarins. Salmon fillets. Ground chicken. Chicken tenders. Chicken breast tenders for tonight and then another night. Unless we use it all today. Also got minced garlic. Basil. Avocado oil spray, salsa to go with the chips, oregano, and then some golden potatoes because I love potatoes. And I got a couple of these bags too because they're big and easy to use. Got some plain Trader Joe's bagels, eggs, obviously, baby mushrooms, vegan Caesar dressing. I've never seen this before, but this is probably so good on salad. It's tofu, olive oil, lemon juice, white miso, Dijon mustard and capers. Two things of spinach, baby spinach. Asparagus, romaine hearts for salads, baby carrots, green beans, soy cheese blend, vodka sauce for pastas, for easy dinners, and then one more bag. Lastly, rolled oats for oatmeal. Two of my favorite frozen foods, vegetable pad thai. So good. And then I got some couscous because I have a strange obsession with couscous. I don't know how to cook it, but I'm going to have to find out. Turkey corn dogs. Those are also weirdly really good. Sweet potato fries. Blueberry frozen waffles. Two of my favorite vegan yogurts. Coconut milk. Vanilla yogurt. Some more tortellini with pesto filling. This is the one like you have to actually have to boil though. Gnocchi. This stuff is so good. I think I got, yeah, I got two of these. Also, because these are my favorite. Rigatoni pasta noodles. Some onion salt. Earth Balance vegan butter. This is my favorite butter. Linguine with clam sauce. That sounded really good. Pretty sure there's dairy in it, though. And then two sauces. Soy sauce and island teriyaki sauce. And I think that's it. Now I have to put everything Oh, it. put away a bunch of dishes. There's finally counter space and stuff in here and stuff up there. I got all my mugs out and then cups. This is still very unorganized, but it is what it is right now. Also, I bought these really thinking it came with salt and pepper, so I didn't buy any at the store right now, but they're empty, so that's cool. All that stuff is empty. This has cutting boards and blender, toaster, that stuff. He's making dinner. Spinach, tortellini, and chicken, mixing it all together. I also put stuff up here, so dishes and Tupperware. We finally used enough paper towels so that it fits in that. That's good. <laughs> and then utensil holder has all this stuff. Bottle opener, can opener, scissors. Um, this is a huge mess, but worry about that later. And then he also just built this. Stand. I got off of Amazon. It's supposed to be like an entryway table. It has a glass top on it, but we haven't put that on yet. But that's what that looks like. Pretty cool. And then this is the TV that we picked up. 50 inch Roku Hisense TV. I don't really know anything about it. I don't think I told you this story yet, but it was a display 
We're probably, probably gonna have leftovers, so I'm just gonna use all the chicken. Yeah, that's fine. It was a display TV, like the last one, and I guess it was discontinued. So we got the one that was a display, so it came with no box, no instructions, literally nothing, just a TV and a remote. But we got a 10% discount on it, which is something, I guess. I thought it was gonna be more, but it wasn't. But that was good. And now I have a TV, so that's cool. Dinner time? Dinner time. First dinner in my little cute bowls. So cute. He's also plugging in the TV so we can watch something while we eat. But we're gonna have to eat on my bed because I have no other chairs right now that are able to be sat on. Are you plugged in? Yeah. Oh snap. It already works because it's a display. Because <laughs> it was already set up. Hopefully we don't spill on these nice sheets. I know, I need to wash them anyway.